What is going on, my fans? So this, this channel has been the channel where you're finding boxing in unusual places, right? Where we're finding games like 2D Bruisers, Boxers bru Bruising, Bruisers 2D Boxing, uh, Boxers Road, right? Things where we never really thought to look for. But this is a very unique one because I truly, honestly thought that it was incredibly one-dimensional whenever a fighting game would have a boxer in the game. But you can actually box in Tekken. Like, you can box. You can use the fundamental understanding of boxing and actually apply it to Tekken with a fighter called Steve Fox who has multiple stance switching, has complete full control sway. If you want to sway his head, it's insane. He's like different from all of the characters in the game and then they have to box with you or get blasted sometimes it's actually crazy and, and in this video i'm going to show you i'm going to break down all the stuff that he has and i'm going to show you how crazy it actually is to box with 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 uh with a boxer in the game it's actually insane uh not to mention the customization is 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 incredible now i got into fighting games because of street fighter 6 keep in mind i've never played any tekken ever before until this one I've only played Street Fighter 2 when I was a little kid before I played Street Fighter 6. And Street Fighter 6 opened up my mind to kind of playing these fighting games because the psychology was what made it super exciting to me. The psychology of playing uh, a fighting game and like playing with the minds of your opponent, right? Conditioning them to think you're going to do something, you do something else. It's not too far from removed from how the psychology of boxing. So with this, it's even more and it's even more tethered to to what boxing is let's let's go ahead and take a look at it. what's going on by fans so we have tekken 8 here and i have to talk about this guy right here steve fox because never have i seen in a fighting game to my knowledge i mean i could be wrong I, i've just gotten into fighting games thanks to street fighter 6 but never have i seen in a fighting game a boxer be represented so deeply um like steve fox is in this game now the customization is crazy because i basically made a guy that doesn't even look like steve fox right like this dude got black hair the my guy got black hair with with a black beard uh you know what i'm saying i changed the color of the robe to to black the gloves are white and the, the, this guy looks completely different from steve fox which i think is super cool the customization is insane um and this is what people see when when they're playing you but let me talk about how this dude fights. First of all, you could actually uh, step and sway to the left, step and sway to the right. He doesn't have a, a, a kick button, right? So where his kick, his <clears throat> his jab is the, the box, right? If you're playing on PlayStation. His jab is box. His straight is, is uh, triangle. His kick, because everyone else kicks in this game, would have been here, but it's not. It's sway to the right, to the left, sway to the right. Now you could sway and hold on to it, and you could move your head like this, which is crazy, because it's almost like a, a sway button, but with with obviously with a lot of movement attached to it. But look at this. This is crazy. Although it's a little gimmicky to do it this way, you'll probably get smashed by somebody who, instead of going for your head, they'll you know they'll go for go for a low attack or whatever but you could like sway back right you could sway in right and all of this works he also has different stances he also has different stances for example you could do a hook right and then now he has this flicker stance right here they call this the flicker stance where you could throw these quick jabs that's like this but you have that Philly shell kind of stance, right? That 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 loose Philly shell stance. It's like that. And you and all your moves are different now because you have that loose Philly shell. He also has the Muhammad Ali stance, which which changes everything. So this you could do a step back. This does the Muhammad Ali shuffle, and then when you do the Muhammad Ali shuffle, all your punches are a little bit different, right? That uppercut is different. That's that this is the straight to the to the to the body that causes a heat reaction which I'll, I'll probably explain all of that uh, in a in a later video, but I'm obviously still learning the game. But he also has a peekaboo stance. Like what the heck? 
Go like this, now it's peekaboo. Now, I could still keep walking forward, and normally in the fighting games, you have to press back to block, but not in the peekaboo stance because it actually has properties that make sense. Because you're so tightly protected, any mid punch, even if I'm forcing myself forward, even if I'm moving forward and I'm jabbing forward, jabbing forward, coming in, right? Even if I'm doing that, mid attacks are completely blocked for free. They have to hit me low. They have to hit me low. And I could block low, right? I could block low. So it, it, it's pretty cool that uh, that this protects uh, uh, mid-attack. So I could just go like this, and I could basically assume that when they attack, it's going to go low, and it opens them up for me being able to at least block it or even catch their low attack, right? So this dude is crazy. And then when we when we talk about how the combinations come into play, my man, first of all, he has a mix-up combination like this where it goes low and then high, and you have to block low and high. So that brings that property of boxing, right, where it's forcing you to think where to go in terms of your defense, in terms of the rock, paper, scissors. But it all he also has this one-two. He has a one-two. And it has to you have to do it super fast. You have to go one-two to do a one-two. But it, it doesn't stop there. He has a one-two, three, four. So you got one-two, he got. One, two, three. He has one, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? And then he also has one, one. He also has a, a one a uppercut. So it, it actually makes sense. He's not just going like this. He's going like this. Right? He also has a one, one, two, two. So. He not he he has so many mix-ups in his combinations, right? He has a step in straight from here, right? From here, steps in with a straight. And I love how this always controls this hand. This always controls this hand. So the dude is is just an absolute beast, and he literally almost he brings the the sport into the game basically. No, in, in a way that I've not seen anybody be able to do with any other boxing uh, character uh, before. <laughs> but again, I, I don't play, uh, you know, boxing characters. I've not played any boxing characters in fighting games because I've never played Tekken. This is the first time I ever played Tekken. And the only fighting game I ever played before Street Fighter Six was Street Fighter Two when I was a little kid. So I'm now getting into uh, uh, fighting games. I, I've become a master on in Street Fighter Six. you know, putting uh, some work into that. But uh, I'm going to start playing uh, a Tekken as well because, boy, does this guy have it, man. This guy has it. And he has some good combos, too. Let's see if I can get some. Let me get see if I can... Get a, a, a super combo, a Tekken type combo going with this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he got the shoe shine. <laughs> My man got the shoe shine. Yes. You step in and you actually have to keep pressing the button after you do the step in to continue to do the shoe, the shoe shine. It's not even funny. Look at this. My man is a beast, bro. He's a beast. So we're going to take him online. One thing that I definitely did is when I first started playing the game, and this is, for, this is a hook counter right here that you could do, which is beautiful right here. If they come, if they get countered with that bad boy, you get a whole, you get a whole, uh, let me see, you get a whole, a whole punish off of that. Look at this. Ah, uh, he's lucky, but I caught him with the, the, the last bit of that. Yeah, whole punish counter off of just getting hit with that counter right there. Beep! And it's mad fun. And then you could also go, like, for example, you could do this, boom, and he's still getting punished for that. And that's another thing. He's also trippy in the corner, right? He's trippy because he does the foot stomp. And you could go foot stomp, beep, foot stomp, beep, like... And just you could terrorize people in the corner because he has you 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 against the ropes. He has your back against the ropes, and they actually let him cook. Like they really be letting <laughs> Steve Fox cook when you on the ropes. Especially with this peekaboo stance, man. Peekaboo stance is crazy, man. Peekaboo. Oh, and he has a clinch. He has a clinch. And then uh let me see, hold on. Let me let me get the 
the heat system, right? He has a clinch where if you move in, you clinch, you pick which one you want to do, and they have to guess, is it square or is it triangle? And they have to press, is it one or two? They got to press that. So it's actually super cool. He also has this move where he steps in like this. I don't know why they have him spinning around, but I guess it's to make it look more different than this right here. But you could spin and then keep spinning, and then you could spin in and do like a move from, from, from far. So you spin in, hit him with that. It's just, it's just awesome. He just has so many good moves. Like, I love it. All right, so we're going to, uh, one thing that I did with, with Steve uh, Fox is I went online super early on because playing Street Fighter, I learned that the 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 feeling of being in a fight is completely different from the feeling of practicing so I'm, i'll practice some stuff like you know all these combos or whatever i'll practice these combos here but really the feeling of the the feeling of fighting is something that you can't really replicate and and the, with the computer i'm something i don't want to do because there's that psychology doesn't exist there right because the computer is going to compute Right with with a human being, there's gonna be that psychology where you could play with their minds, and that's what I'm. That's what I started to like about fighting games. That there, there's this feeling like it's almost like in, in boxing where you're playing with their minds. Obviously, you have to learn all of these different techniques, which is like different, right? Like all these combo stuff, you got to learn this stuff, and that's different to to boxing. But having a fighter like this in the game, like I'm 100% maining. This man right here, Steve Fox. So let me go into a, a, a match, uh, and let's see how we fare, right? Let's see how we fare. Now that that's how Steve Fox supposed to look. He's supposed to look like that, uh, but he don't look like that at all. And the clothes I have on right now, I made, I modified it to make it look like uh, to pay homage to Floyd Mayweather when he went against Manny Pacquiao. So it's a Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao colors. <clears throat> look at that. How clean is that? That is so clean. We wildin' already. Oh, 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 no, no, oh. I'm trying to counter her. Yikes. There we go. They hate that counter. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, she went high and low. Yikes. Got him with the side step. Ah, trying to jab her up. No. Come on. Yikes. Ah, oh, messed that up. Let's go. Got her with the special. Nope. Got her. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Nope. Let's go, Flicker. Got on the Flicker. Got on the Flicker. You can't do nothing. Let's go. Step back. Nope. Okay. Jab. No. Oh, oh, oh. Yikes. 
Come on. Come on now. Trying to keep it basic with the... Ah. Let's go. Yikes. Okay. Got that Muhammad Ali shuffle. She ain't even trying. Ah, she got in. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting a freaking flying kick to come out of nowhere. Let's go. No, come on. Damn, didn't land. No. All right, we got to run that back. We got to run that back. Let's go. Right off the bat with a flying punch. They don't even know what to do. Damn, she grabbed me. Can you stop throwing punches? Come on. Let's go. No, why did I jump? Oh my gosh, the step back didn't work. Damn. Crazy, crazy. All right. Come on. Jeez. Come on, come on. It reaches so far out. That's the problem with that move. Damn. Whew. Come on, come on. Nope. Come on, come on. Let's go. Caught it. Let's go. She ain't know what to do. She ain't know what to do. Come back. Come back. Nah. 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 Come on. Nope. Uh, nope. Come on. Nope. Bang. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Get off me. Bang. Come on. Nope. Come on, come on. She don't block low. That's a problem. She don't block low. Let's go. This does chip damage, baby. We walling. We walling. Final round. Come on. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, no. Let's go. Come on. No. Damn. 
She don't know what to do. She's lost. She's lost, baby. She's lost, baby. Let's go. With the Floyd Mayweather drip. I'm not even supposed to be in, in, in Tekken. <coughs> I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm out here bo boxing and Tekken. That's crazy. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's run that again. Let's run that again. Nope. I'm too fast. My jab's too quick. Let's go. Nope. Nope. She don't know what to do now. She don't know what to do now. Yeah, she don't know what to do now. Let's go. She don't know what to do now. She don't know what to do now. She don't know what to do now. Uh, okay, okay. She got a little. She got a little combo. I was I, I was out boxing her though. With the side steps, with the jab, using the jab to start everything. She she don't know, man. Nope. Nope. Come on. Nope. Low. Let's go. Come on. Nope. Nope. Bang. Come on. Come on. Bang. Low again. Let's go with the step. You got to step on their feet. That's part of the sport. She don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> she don't know what to do. Ah. Uh-uh. Go low. What's up? What's up? Come on. Come on. Nope. Low. Low again. Low again. You better be blocking. Low. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Not there. my goodness gracious so there you have it guys i'm actually having a blast with tekken 8 the fact that they have a boxer in there the fact that i can change stance go from peekaboo to flicker stance which is basically just the foot philly shell which is allows me to throw these quick jabs the fact that it has a one two a one two three a one two three four and all of that is 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 completely manually done by you it has the shoe shine which is also manually done by you you can move in and it blocks using the 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 uh the peekaboo stands i absolutely think that that's just so fire and the principles of being able to do things that make sense in the boxing world work in the game like i could use my jab and steve fox i think has a, one of the quickest like counters right with the left hook counter which drops you and then allows me to go into a, a combo because that's how you combo in in tech and they got to bounce off the floor and then you got to keep the bounce going and all that stuff but uh as i keep playing it obviously i'm brand new to it but i'm learning it you know i'm learning it little by little and just knowing that i could play in such a tactical way that's that with the ethos of boxing in this game actually kind of blowing my mind I, I didn't never expected them to have a boxing fight i thought that they, it would be so gimmicky that there would be none of the stuff like peekaboos and stuff like that and like left hook counters and 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 they, like i didn't think i was gonna see that i thought it was just gonna be like they had gloves on and they do the animations of boxing but now the fundamentals are there with the high lows and stuff unbelievable anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see me playing more uh, Tekken, because um, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. Uh, and we could we could go from there. Let me know down in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you want, if you like this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.